So in this video, we are going to do a question Highwood, which is a final account question. And this is question number 353 from your Kaplan kit. First of all, let's see the requirement. And <coughs> sorry, the requirement is prepare the statement of profit and loss and other comprehensive income, as we have done in the previous questions. Prepare the statement of changes in equity, okay, for three marks. Prepare the statement of financial position, and this is for eight marks. So nine, three, 12 plus eight. So it's a 20 marks question. Again, you have to make three financial statements. Statement of change in equity is quite easy. So that is why they have given three marks for it. And the rest of the marks is for statement of profit and loss and statement of financial position. And <clears throat> let's start with the trial balance. As I told you that you should be reading that trial balance first. Okay, the year end is 31st March 20x1. So you have 50 cents share, the balance is 6,000. That means the total share is 12,000. 6,000 into two. All right, 6,000 into two is 12,000 shares. Retain earnings at the start of the year is 1,400. 8% <coughs> convertible loan notes is 30,000. Hopefully you remember IFRS 9. A property at cost is 75,000. Out of this 25 million is the land. And the de depreciation of the building, accumulated depreciation of building is 10,000. Current tax, uh, is on the debit side, credit side. So it's over provision, which reduces the current year tax charge. Deferred tax, this is the opening balance. Inventory at 4th April, it should be at the year end. Strange, it is the 4th April. That means we have some adjustment for it. Trade receivable 47,100, bank 11,500, trade payables 24,500. So bank is on the credit side. So it's the current liability. Revenue is 3,39,650. Cost of sales, distribution costs, administrative expenses, and loan note interest paid. So first of all, you have to read the complete trial balance. All right, we are done with it. Now, the following notes are relevant. The 8 person, 30 million convertible loan note was issued at first April 20x0 which is the start of the year. Interest is payable in arrears, and you know the treatment of convertible. Remember, we have to split it between the debt and the equity. The loan note is redeemable at par or convertible into equity shares <coughs> of the, at the option of a loan note holders on the basis of 30 equity shares for dollar each loan note. Highwood Finance Director has calculated that the issue of the equivalent loan note without the conversion rights, it would have to pay interest rate of 10%. This is the market rate. And then you have the applicable discounts rate. So that is an easy adjustment. First of all, you have to split it between the debt and the equity, which is going to be an easy adjustment. So how we can do that? So convertible. All right, so you have to take the year. You have to take the cash flow. You have to take the discount factor. And then you have to take the present value. So we have three years. Year one, two, three. One, two, three. So in the first year, there will be only interest, which is 30,000 into 8%. So 8, 3, the 24, it will be 2,400. In the first year, 
2400 in the second year and 2400 plus 30,000 which is the principal amount in the third year. We have been given the discount factors which becomes easy for you 0 0.91 0 0.83 and 0 0.75 all right now we have to use the calculator so 2400 into 0.91 it gives 2184 2400 into 0 0.83 it's 1992 and 30,000 plus 2400, 32,400 into 0.75 <coughs> is 24,300. So now we can have the present value of debt, which is the liability, financial liability. So 24,300 plus 1992 plus 2184. It gives you 28476. Now what is the nominal value of convertible is 30,000. So equity comes as a balancing figure minus 30,000 is 1524. 1524 is the equity which will be recorded in the other components of the equity. So this was at the start of the year. So we have split it between the debt and the debt and the equity. So this present value of debt comes under the working of amortized cost. which states opening balance, add interest, less payment. So opening balance of the debt, which we have calculated is 28476. Interest rate is 10%, so 28476 into 10%. 28476 in 2.1. So it gives you 24, 2847.6. 2847.6. And then you deduct the payment from it, which was 2400. And it gives you the closing balance. So 28476 plus 2847.6 minus 2400. It gives you 28923.6. So this is your financial liability component. This is your financial, or we can, you know, round it off 28924. So we'll round it off when it comes to the statement of financial position. So this is the working number one. Then you have the second working. On 1st April 2020, Highwood decided to revalue its property <coughs> at the start of the year they are revaluing their property the market value of the property on this date was 80 million on of which 30 million related to the land at this date the remaining estimated life of the property was 20 years highwood does not make a transfer to retain any of the excess depreciation all depreciation is charged to the cost of sales now we have the working number two which is the ppe so in this question we only have sorry property which is land 
and the building. So the cost of the land was 25,000. So the remaining building is, will be 50,000. Total will be 75,000, which is the property. Total. There's no need to take the total. <coughs> but still. So accumulated depreciation. Land has no depreciation. The building was having the accumulated depreciation of 10,000. So the carrying value at 1st April 20x0, which is the start of the year, 25,000 and 40,000. So then they have revalued it. So revalued amounts, they revalued at start of the year, which is clearly mentioned in the question. On 1st April, they decided to revalue. So the land went, Okay, it went to 80 million, of which 30 million is land. Fine. So land went to 30 million, 30,000, and obviously the building will be 50,000. So the revaluation gain is over here is 5,000, and over here is 10,000. So total revaluation gain is 15,000. Then there will be depreciation for the year because they revalued at start of the year. Again, land no depreciation. 50,000 divided by 20 because they told us remaining life is 20 years. So 50,000 divided by 20. It's 2,500. All right, the carrying value will be 30,000 and 47,500. So this is the PPE. So what's the total? 47,500 plus 30,000. 77,500, which will be going in the PPE. Total depreciation is 2,500, which will be going in the cost of sales. All right, this is the second working. Now we have the third working, for which we have to read note number three. Current tax represents an under over provision. We have already said that this is the over provision because the balance is on the credit side. So that resembles the over provision. The required provision for the income tax is 19.4 million. It's 19.4 million. This is the current tax, current tax provision. The difference between the carrying amounts of the asset of Highwood, including the property revaluation and their lower tax base is 27 million. Highwood rate of the income tax is 25%. So first of all, we have the tax provision for the current year, which is clearly given in the question is 19.4 million, 19,400. And then you have the over provision, which is, we have to see the trial balance for it. Where is this? 800. Decreases the current year tax charge. Now we have to do the working of the deficit tax. All right, so the opening balance of the deferred tax in the trial balance is 2600. 
then it, there is a closing balance which we have to calculate they have given us the temporary differences of 27 million this is temporary difference and we have to multiply it by tax rate to get the defer tax liability but they said that this include the revaluation as well so 27000 into what is the tax rate is 25 percent so 27000 into 25 percent is 6750 So what is the increase? The opening balance was 2600, closing balance is 6750. So the increase is 4150, but this includes the deferred tax on revaluation as, as well. So we have to deduct it. Deferred tax on revaluation. So the gain was 15,000 into tax. 15,000 into 0.25 is 3750. So what is the increase in deferred tax? Net increase in deferred tax is minus 4150 is 400. The 400 is the increase in the tax. So now increase in defer tax is 400. So what is the figure that goes to the profit or loss? 19,400 minus 800 plus 400. It's 19,000, which is the tax expense in the statement of profit or loss, 19,000. <clears throat> All right, we are done with this as well. Then you have, and remember one thing, that you know, we have the revaluation gain of 15,000. So we have to deduct this 3750, which is the deferred tax on revaluation from here as well. 15,000 minus 3750 and this net amount will be recorded in the other comprehensive income. So 15,000 minus 3750. So double 1250 will be recorded in other comprehensive income as a revaluation gain because we have to deduct it from the other comprehensive income as well. All right, now Moving to the next working, which is working number four. The inventory of high wood was not counted until fourth apple because you see in the trial balance, they have given us the inventory at fourth apple. It should be at the year end. <coughs> inventory was not counted until fourth apple due to operational reasons. At this date, the cost was 36,000, which is from the trial balance. And this figure has been used in the cost of sales above. Between the year end of 31st March and 4th April, Highwood received the goods at cost of 2.7 million and made sales of 7.8 million. So this is cost, this is sales. So we have to convert this sale into cost first. 7,800 represents 130%. We will multiply it by 100 to get the cost. Because in, in the, when it comes to inventory, we need the cost rather than selling prices. So 130 into 100. So it gives you 6,000. Neither the goods delivered nor the sales made in this period were included in the high wood purchases or revenue in the trial balance. So what is the adjustment? The inventory adjustment is quite simple. So you take the inventory balance.
as per trial balance it is 36000 you are 36 million means 36000 so you add the sales amount you deduct the purchases amount so sales amount we have calculated 7800 divide by 130 into 30 it gives you 6000 you deduct the purchases from it which was 2700 So this is the adjusted inventory balance. So 36,000 plus 6,000 minus 2,700. So it's 39,300, the adjusted inventory balance. So this is how we, you know, adjusted because they counted it on the 4th april so we add the sales and we less the purchases it gives you the adjusted balance of the inventory and similarly you have to make the adjustment in the cost of sales as well so the the cost of sale will be having this impact the net impact 6000 minus 2700 so 6000 minus 2700 this net impact of 3300 net increase in the cost of sales then you have the working number 4 sorry working number 5 On 31st March 20X1, which is the year end, high would factored. Factors means they have given the responsibility of the recovery to someone else. Trade receivables with the book value of 10 million. So the receivables were having the book value of 10 million to easy finance, which is the factor, those who are gonna recover on their behalf. High would received an immediate payment of 8.7 million from them against those 10,000 and will pay easy finance 2% per month on any uncollected balances. Any of the factored receivables outstanding after six months will be refunded to easy finance. High would have de-recognized the receivables and charge 1.3 million of two administrative expenses. <coughs> if high would had not factored these receivables, it would have made an allowance of 600 against them. So this is the wrong treatment what they have done. Because they still have the responsibility regarding the receivables, that means they have not transferred the risk and rewards related to the receivables to the easy finance. They still have the risk and rewards. Because see this line, any of the factored receivables outstanding after six months, which remains uncollected, will be refunded. That means they have to pay the easy finance for them. So that means in substance, in reality, it's a loan arrangement that the easy finance has given them the loan against their receivables. So this 8.7 million should be recorded as a liability. And they have de-recognized the receivables. So they should recognize the receivables again, add this 10 million again to the receivables and record this 600 closing allowance directly in the statement of financial position so working number five as the risk and rewards remains with the high wood this transaction cannot be 
treat it as a sale of receivables. Dollar eighty seven hundred should be recorded as a liability. Dollar ten thousand minus dollar six hundred should be recorded in the receivables. Now we are done with the working. So the first requirement was making the statement of profit or loss. So the first thing is revenue. How much is the revenue? Let's go to the trial balance and we can directly take the figures from there. 339650. Yes. Okay, then you deduct the cost of sales. So cost of sales as per trial balance is 207750. 207750, add the depreciation to it, which was 2500. And the adjustment was related to the cost of sales. Cost of sales should be increased, increasing the closing inventory. So minus 3300 because the closing inventory is deducted from the cost of sales. So it gives you 207,750 plus 2500 minus 3300 as the closing inventory is deducted from the cost of sales. So 206950. It gives you the gross profit. Minus 339650. Of 132700. Then you have the distribution cost, then you have the administrative expenses, then you have the finance cost, then you have the PBT, then you have the tax, then you have the profit for the year. After that, there is the other comprehensive income, and in that there is a revaluation gain, and then you will be having total comprehensive income. So distribution cost, 27,500. Administrative expenses, 30,700, but there's an adjustment in it. They have recorded <coughs> this 1,300 in the administrative expenses, it should be reversed and rather allowance should be deducted from it. So 30,700, reversing the 1300 and adding the allowance. So 30,700 minus 1300 plus 600. It gives you 30,000. 
finance cost we already calculated it from the working number 1 so 2848 round off 2848 it gives you pbt just a minute okay 132 700 minus 27500 minus 30000 minus 2848 72352 tax we calculated from the working it was it was where it is 19000 yes 19000 so profit for the year is minus 19000 5333 revaluation gain we already calculated over here 11250 so you can show it separately 15000 minus deferred tax which was 3750 so or you can just you know show the net effect plus 15000 Minus three seven five zero six four six zero two okay then you have to make the statement of changes in equity so now you have the share capital we do not have share premium in this question. then we have the other components of equity which is the convertible thing okay then you are having the revaluation surplus then you have the retained earnings so opening balances of the share capital it was 6000 what was the opening balance of oce do we have such thing no what was the opening balance of revaluation surplus we do not have that what was the opening balance of retained earning it was 1400 then there was the convertible and then 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 how much we recorded in the oce 1524 how much was the gain on revaluation so it was the net impact was 11250 what is the profit for the year it should be added to retained earnings 53352 we do not have dividends otherwise it would have been deducted so these are the closing balances which directly goes to the balance sheet as well so 6000 1524 11250 and 53352 plus 1400 54752 then you make the statement of financial position so first of all the assets 
नॉन करेंट एसेट यू हैव द पीपीई फर्स्ट यू हैव ऑलरेडी डन द वर्किंग फॉर इट सो द बैलेंस ऑफ द पीपीई वाज सेवेंटी सेवेन थाउजेंड फाइव हंड्रेड give the reference of the working and then you have do you have any other no current asset inventory and receivables because the bank was on the credit side so the adjusted balance of the inventory was 39300 what was the receivables in the trial balance Forty-seven thousand one hundred. So we have to add the ten thousand, which they did recognize, and we have to deduct six hundred, which is the allowance. So forty-seven thousand one hundred plus ten thousand minus six hundred. Fifty-six five double zero. What is the total assets? Plus thirty-nine thousand three hundred, plus seventy-seven thousand five hundred. It's one seven three three double zero. Now you have equity and liabilities. First of all, you have the equity. Then you have the OCE. Then you have the revaluation surplus. then you have the retained earnings now it becomes easy because you can directly pick up from the statement of change in equity 6015241250 and what was the earning 54752 it gives you total equity 6000 plus 1524 plus 11250 plus 54752 now you have the non credit liabilities in which you got the deferred tax Where is the deferred tax? Closing was six seven five zero. Then you have the loan notes. We did the working for it. It was working number one. Two eight nine two three point six. So two eight nine two four. Then you have the current liability. Okay, you have the trade payables. Twenty four thousand five hundred. and then was factor liability it was 8700 then there was the bank and 11500 and then there was a tax current tax provision it was 19400 now we can get the total of the equity and liabilities
seven three five two six plus six seven five zero plus two eight nine two four plus twenty four thousand five hundred plus eighty seven hundred plus eleven thousand five hundred plus nineteen thousand four hundred one seven three three double zero does it tally with the assets absolutely yes so this was your question high vote